I know they're still a bit straight, but you know, we'll work with those. Like, I don't like that. Like, I don't like it, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Lauren Lee 11. If you're new, thank you for stopping by. And if you're already subscribed, thank you very much for coming back. Now today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get curly hair even curlier. And I use two things, and one being a product, the other being a technique. Before I go on to that guys, I just want to say though, I am doing Natural Frizzy Curly Hair series. I'm going to be doing three parts to these series. I've already done one, so if you do want to go and check that out now, you can click on this link now and then come back to this video, or you can click on the link in the description down below and check it out after this video. Guys, in between, I'm going to be showing you, as I said, how to get curly hair curlier. What I actually mean is, when I use a certain product, it makes my curls really defined and really tight. Okay, so as you can see, I've got quite loose curls in certain areas, or well, pretty much throughout. I've got quite loose curls. And what I'm talking about is this, guys, good old fashioned green eco styler. <laughs> and you might wonder how it gets my curls tight. Don't ask me, I don't know, I'm just telling you this is the product that gets my curls really tight. So, all I'm gonna do guys is literally just apply it. And the technique that I was talking about to get my hair even curlier, as you know guys, simple technique, scrunch. Just scrunching. I'm gonna be adding this um, 2.99 Jamaican black castor oil at the end just to lock in the moisture. So scrunch, scrunch. Hi guys, so I'm back now. My hair is completely coated with the Eco Style Olive Oil Gel. And as you can see, I have very loose parts in my hair, like this one. And what I usually do is scrunch first to get more of a curl. You can see that? Bit more of a curl. And then what will happen once my hair starts to dry that will really curl up nicely. Girl. Really? The front hair as well, quite loose. And as I said, it will dry up. Scrunch it like so. When it dries, it will form a nice cute ringlet. Okay guys, so I will see you tomorrow because as I said, my hair is not going to dry by today. <laughs> it will be completely dry tomorrow, so I will see you tomorrow and... Five hours later. So I'm back. I know I said I'll be back the next day, but my hair dried considerably, seeing as it was like 28 degrees outside today. So, the only, look, you can see it's stiff. <laughs> the only part of my hair that's not dried is this part. So I'd say literally about 10, even 5% of my hair that's not dried but I thought I'd come back and show you before I fluff it out tomorrow and as you can see in comparison let me do a side by side comparison so this was the curl that I scrunched up earlier as you can see it's a lot tighter because this was a very very loose curl so you can see here this is what it looked like this is what it looks like now and I had a lot of looser ones here so as you can see guys my curls have gone extremely tight Extremely tight for my type, my hair type, which is about 3C, 4A. But um, yes, you can hear it's kind of crunchy. <laughs> I'm not gonna crunch that out yet until my hair is completely dry, because if I do it on damp parts, it just goes frizzy, so I want it to be completely dry, and then I'll crunch out the cast. But as you can see, guys, even these were the straight parts. I know they're still a bit straight, but you know, we'll work with those. Like, I don't like that. Like. I don't like it, okay? This is what it looks like after five hours, guys. And um, I will show you tomorrow morning once I've crunched out the cast. So as you can see, I've got lots of shrinkage, guys. Very springy. I may crunch out the cast tonight and then stretch it in a pineapple overnight. So then you can see what it looks like in the morning stretched and the curls do not lose their formation so there you have it guys that is how i get my curls curlier with the eco styler gel but as i said i will show you in the morning guys once my hair is completely done 
Okay guys, have a good night and I'll see you in a minute. Hi guys, welcome back. So this is my hair completely dried, 100% dried. And this is the day after wash day. So would you class it as day one? Day one here, I guess, I don't know. It's not day two, I suppose day one here. Day one dry hair. You're a bear. Okay guys, I'm just gonna take it out of my bun. And as you can see, I've got amazing definition. I've crunched out most of the cast. The majority of the cast is still at my roots. I've got some hair pins here. Okay, Let's shave it all out. So you can see guys, my hair is super, super defined. It looks super curly. Definition is on point. Edges are on point. <laughs> As you can see guys, so this is literally how I have made my curly hair curlier. And it was from the scrunching technique and the Eco Styler Olive Oil, so the green one, gel. Okay guys, so it stretched a little bit because obviously I had it up. Okay guys, so that is how I make my curly hair curlier. Okay guys, so if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on my social medias, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at MissLauraLee11. And if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below in the comment box. And uh, yeah. <laughs> All right guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.